you, there's an extraordinary treatment that some COVID-19 patients are now receiving. It's risky, but it could help save some lives as the virus continues to attack Southeast Michigan. Our Heather Catalo joins us now with a look at what this is and how it's being used, Heather. Well, Dave, earlier this month, the feds relaxed some rules to allow something called ECMO to be used for coronavirus patients when the ventilator just isn't enough. And for certain patients, it can make all the difference. When an Oakland County woman was told her mom would be transferred out of Beaumont, Wayne, as they closed down their COVID-only facility, a friend told her to get her mom on something called ECMO. She needs to go to U of M for ECMO, so I called a patient advocate. I just made it clear that my mom needed to be evaluated for that. Now that she's at U of M, she says her mom's condition has improved. The daughter asked that we not identify the family because of patient privacy concerns, but she did want others to know about ECMO. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It uh, is a pump and a gas exchange device that allows us to circulate a, a patient's blood outside of the body. Dr. Jonathan Haft is the director of Michigan Medicine's ECMO program. ECMO was actually invented by U of M's Dr. Robert Bartlett back in 1974. It supports uh, the vital functions of a patient's heart and lungs while those organs are in a state of recovery. So ECMO is really used uh, in the most extreme cases of uh, respiratory failure like uh, what we see with COVID-19. This photo shows one of the eight coronavirus patients currently on ECMO at U of M. ECMO comes with risk, so not everyone is a good candidate. We only have a finite capacity to provide uh, ECMO support. It really is a team effort, and our team has been working uh, you know, around the clock uh, to try to deliver care for as many patients as we possibly can. Right now, an international ECMO registry that's based in Ann Arbor shows that 486 COVID-19 patients across the world have tried the treatment. Right now, there's a 39% survival rate, but experts expect that to increase as more data is reported. ECMO outcomes are likely to be as good uh, as when ECMO was applied for other causes of respiratory failure, like the H1N1 experience. Now, U of M has been the flagship program for ECMO globally, but there are other hospital systems locally that do have it, including Beaumont and Henry Ford. If you have a loved one who's battling coronavirus and on a ventilator, you need to talk to your doctor about this, and that doctor would have to interface with the ECMO program. You can't just call up and make an appointment for this life support system. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Wow, still pretty amazing to hear about that one. Thank you so much, Heather, for sharing.